Today we're talking about how to change the axes or how to actually uh, format the axes when it comes to our charts. So here we have a chart and they're asking us to actually label um, the axes and to make a few modifications. Now in order for me to do anything to my chart, I've got to actually click on my chart and then you'll see up here I've got chart design. I can make a number of changes to the chart itself and I can actually do some formatting to it as well. I can also right click on my chart and go to format chart area and there I'll get a number of options um, that I can use as well. So first things first, if I want to modify, let's say this axis over here, I've actually got to click on it. And by the way, this is our horizontal axis and this is our vertical axis. So I'm going to click on that, actually right click on it and format axis. And then you can see I have a number of options on the right hand side. So I can decide, you know, um, the axis type, but where the vertical axis crosses, etc. What I actually want to do is I want to change the orientation of this text over here so that it's displaying sort of, you know, bottom to top um, and not sort of slanted like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon here, which deals with size and properties. And I'm going to go to my alignment. So there you can see um, my alignment that's in the middle center, that's all fine. The text direction, what do I want? I want to rotate it all to 270 and there is what I want. Okay, so that's sorted out. Now I want to deal with the other axes. And if I click on that one, um, what they actually want me to do is they want to have more increments here uh, when it comes to the marks. So if I click on that, or if I right click on that, and I go format axes, then you can see over here, my units. So I'm going in 20s, so zero and then 20. So I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna make it 10. And there you'll see that changes. Now when I want to add labels, I've got a number of ways that I can do that. I can click on this plus over here, it gives me the chart elements. And I can add, there you can see, axes titles. I can also go up to my chart design. I can go add chart element and add axis titles. And let's go with the horizontal. And I can just type in the subjects. And maybe I want to add another chart element. And I want to add a vertical title. And let's just call that uh, total marks. Okay, and that's just one example of how I can uh, format my axes. So here's another example where they're actually asking me to give the chart an appropriate title and label. Now we can see that this is dealing with sales, this is dealing with the total sales in all provinces. So I'm going to use this same um, heading over here and I'm just going to copy it then I'm going to go to my chart and I'm going to say that I want to add a chart title click in that I'm going to then paste um, that title that I wanted and there we go I've now added my chart title now they want me to display the values on the vertical axis now remember our vertical axis over here as currency so I've got to click on that I can right click on it format and then I want to go down to number as I scroll down I've got different categories of numbers in terms of how it can display and I'm going to go with currency because that's what they want then lastly they want me to format the vertical axis to display the differences between the sales of the provinces in greater detail in other words they want this to be in more detail now we can see that we don't have sort of numbers above about 180,000. Um, and we've got numbers lower than 100,000, not really. So let's go and change that. So again, I've selected my axes and over here, you can see it's jumping in increments of 50,000, which is more or less okay. But let's start with a minimum because you can see it's always starting above 100,000. So let's go with about um, 90,000 and we're going to go all the way up to let's say about 185,000 and there we can see it in greater detail 
And this is how we can change these. Now, last item is the labels on my axes themselves. So I'm gonna to go to this one here. Just close this. I'm gonna to go to axes titles. I'm gonna click on the first one and that one. I'm going to say sales. And the bottom one, I'm going to just call that provinces. And there we go. This is how we can change and format and modify our axes.